guys welcome back to another video or another scratch tutorial and by the title you might be confused what that means but today I mean now I'm gonna start another tutorial series type thing where I'm gonna teach uh, you guys how to make a game where like you're the person at the bottom bottom of this uh, screen or backdrop and then bombs or like anything you can change it to anything I'll make it bombs they fall out of the sky and then if they touch you you're like you die and then if you don't then you get scores but for this tutorial for this part part I'm just gonna make the person and make it um make it so you can move it and i think i'll make a moving animation and i'll also make the random chance of bomb spawning it could spawn from here 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 just it's a random chance from here to here then to fall down and reach down and it will just delete here so before this video starts, make sure to go down and hit the like button, subscribe, tap on the bell icon so you don't miss out on any new content from DB Player. And I think I guess all's done. Just, so let's just roll in. So. Okay, so uh, by the looks, there's nothing here. Fair enough. So first of all, I think I'll just make a character. Uh, uh, it's not. I think I'll make a time lapse here. There's gonna be lots of time lapses because I'm gonna make the costumes right now. So uh, let's go. Okay. So as you see right here i've drawn a stick man figure which is pretty small because i want it to be small and can move over here and there it's got uh, it needs a lot of space so it, if you check it it's pretty big so this might be okay now i'll make a bomb make the bomb but i'll not do a time lapse because it's not going to take a while i'll do this player and this uh make it bomb yes so i'm just gonna do this the bombs are gonna be giants which might be uh, i'm gonna make him four times the size he is so i'll just do this actually too much uh maybe more yep so now i will just send this and uh maybe just for it to look good i'll make sort of like a fuse or so come out of the top okay <laughs> that's not the best fuse uh i'll do it somewhat like that and make it look like it's like about to blow up it's like burning the fuse is burning okay so that looks pretty nice now this looks like a really overpowered thing but uh the spawn rate is gonna be low at the first of uh, at first so it's not gonna be that overpowered so first of all i think i'll make it so when he spawns, he spawns in the middle, which is zero, zero, which is in the middle. Then it's going to be, uh, what is one fifty, uh, five, I guess. No, it's going to go one fifty. Wait, 155 is there. Okay. 155 and so I'll go to events. I'm going to drag go to zero. 
So that what that does is when you die and you restart, it just makes it to go there. Well, the legs look like they're into in the ground, so I'm just gonna okay. So no mind. I want to make it three. Uh, okay, that looks pretty good. Now I'm gonna take the forward loop, and I'm gonna take a if statement and if key a duplicate key d because we'll be only using the two keys to move left and right motion a is gonna be minus three that's gonna be three <clears throat> uh three and let me let me check that and that's pretty good because i thought i might put five that would be overkill Okay, no mind. If you press both of them, it goes much slower. The side is faster, so it's like taking over when I'm pressing both keys. <coughs> so now that we made the movements, <laughs> that was funny. Now that we made the move movements, uh, I think I'll make this random spawning spawn rate thing so i'm not gonna using this i'll use its clones just because if i use this one if i use the sprite itself i'm gonna have to make hundreds more of those so i'll just use the clone i'll make clones so first of all put it there so events when flag is clicked, I'm gonna hide it. So, whoa. Um, power just cut off. What? What are you doing? I'm recording. Stop doing that. It's annoying. I'm gonna turn my brightness down because I don't want my PC to die. And my Wi-Fi is gone. <laughs> Great. So that's when you do that, we don't want to use it. So I'm gonna, I'm not gonna make it show. I'm just gonna make it hide. Then, uh, forever. Wait one second. You might be thinking one second is too low, but it's pretty high when you think about it right now. So create clone myself. I'm still getting like freaky uh the pasta I, I, I forgot goosebumps right now but anyways I'm not really scared because the last time I was speaking to a ghost in my room <laughs> why did I say this here uh then when that's done when I start this clone you want it to go to what's this here the top one is 180 you want it to go to x 180 i don't see anything in my like keyboard and it's like really hard okay then uh i'm gonna take a pick random from and what's the minus 240 240 so i want to do uh i forgot which keys there so <laughs> minus 240 240 i'm impressed that i can write this much in the dark i mean type then I put that there so what this does is when it starts a clone it goes to x which is the up and downs it goes to x 180 which is top over here then it picks a random from picks a random from that from here to here and it like spawns there then i want it to show and then forever I want to move downwards. Oh, forever. Move one step. So let me just see what happened. Okay, never mind. Go to X. So 
I can't use that. So I'm gonna do this. Change x by minus three. No one one. Just for this. What? What's happening? Oh 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 oh. Wait, I forgot. I'm getting confused here. Oh yeah. I was like, what? Why is this changed? Why is the up and down axis this one? So sorry. Sorry for that. Ooh, gotta change that. And do 180. Pick random x and then 180. 180. 8. 8t. So I was like thinking, why did I eight move? Show and then it should forever change y by not ten. Minus one. I mean minus one. So that should basically yes, that's what I wanted it to do. Oh, this is a lot of overkill. <laughs> it like spawns wherever I move. This is gonna be hard. Uh, I want. After I make this game, I'm gonna upload it on my Scratch account. I wanna see how much score I can get. Record it and send it to me! Oh god. I'm done for, I'm done for. <laughs> oh my god, I'm gonna make it smaller. Whoa! <laughs> I'm really confused right now. Uh, I'm just gonna group that, then... I'm gonna get that and I'm gonna do damage. Then I'm gonna do that. Wait, I'm gonna make it smaller just because this has become smaller. Uh, I'm gonna make it over here because it feels like that thing is gonna kill me. I feel like that. Uh, uh, see now. Okay, it's much better and not overkill. Okay. So now, uh, it's gonna lag the game if there are like too many clones. Then, forward change Y by then. I think I'll drag it if else statement. If, um, touching edge then or r player player then delete delete this clone and then else change y by so that basically does is Oh, oh, it starts at the edge, so. Ooh. Boom, maybe I make like a ground. Hmm. I'm confused uh, at this point. Uh, I'll just make a backdrop. Go there. Make that and I'll make it green, just like grass or sort of. Then I'll put it there so it makes like a nice grassy background or sort of. Uh, I'll take that a little bit higher. Minus 150, I guess. So, it looks pretty okay to me. So now I'm gonna make it so not touching edge, it's gonna be touching color. Color, and that's gonna be this color, boy. So basically, it's gonna come down. If it touches me, it dies. If it touches the green color, it dies. Um, let me just show the green color first. Green color, dead. Dead. Then it touches me, dead. Dead. Everything dies. So we don't want that. So 
Uh, I'm not really prepared. I'll make, in this video, I'll just make it so it stops. And next video, I'll make it so I'll add a score system. Then the other, other video, which I think will be there. I'll add stages so the bombs fall faster. I've been recording for 40 minutes. So now, if else, to, I'm going to add another if statement. If touching player, then just stop all. So I think that's it. Let me just check. So that's gonna fall. So wait. Okay, never mind. What just happened? Okay, it was lagging a bit, I guess. I don't know why it was like that. So, I let it fall and touch it. Oh, so sight doesn't work. Hmm. I won't do it if touching the player, it doesn't delete. I'll not delete it. If touching the player, then that should probably fix it so if I put it right up there dead but I want, I'm gonna check it with the side uh, okay it's dead so uh, hope you enjoyed the video and now before you go I'll just do an overview of what you did so in this video we made it so when it starts it starts here and we made the bombs fall down and you can move with the double i mean a and d keys then you, the bombs they fall down and they uh delete when they reach the ground and they uh don't delete when you touch when they touch the player it kills you so it stops the game and uh that's all I've got for today's video and next video I'll try to make an oh what just came I'll try to add a score for the game and it will show how much score you got so I uh, hope you enjoyed the video and hope you're still watching and uh, I'll see you next time